some years ago or in South Africa this was my first major crusade at the stadium and this woman who was blind she had been blind for nine years she had a daughter that was eight years old and it was a daughter who would lead her around now think about that she said she had never seen her daughter because she was blind a year before her daughter was born she was blind for nine years her daughter was eight years old that night her eyes were opened she saw her little daughter for the first time and she embraced her daughter I said tell me what do you think about your daughter she said she's beautiful <laughs> then she said those touching words she said to me she said pastor Chris thank you for coming to our country I was moved to tears she was so grateful she says thank you for coming to our country and now this healing power of God is coming to your country and not only to your country to your home to your car to your office everywhere wherever you can have the signal this power is coming to you so take it everywhere take it to the busy crossroads of life did you know at the army barracks police stations prisons many have been healed and I'm thinking this is going to be the biggest of them the biggest yet by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ remember I told you I'd asked the Lord I said you you told me to do many things which of them is the most important I said which one comes first I wanted him to give me an order I said which one in order of priorities I had hardly finished asking the questions when he spoke so clearly about three feet above my head he spoke he said healing to the nations I'll never forget healing to the nations that's what he said I'm quoting him verbatim and that's why this is happening it's the love of God it's the love of Jesus Christ it's the love of Jesus Christ I told you one Sunday morning I'll never forget studying and getting ready for service it's about 3 a.m. And suddenly the Lord stood in front of me. And he was talking about so many still being sick. He wanted them healed. He said to me, pray for the sick. Pray for those in the hospitals never forget and when he was speaking the love in his voice was so unmistakable in fact his voice broke while he was talking that so many around the world were still sick and he had done everything that needed to be done for their healing he said pray for the sick and 
when he said pray for the sick there he wasn't just talking about ministering to the sick I knew what he was talking about he was referring to in a session for the sick praying for sick people like when we pray for the nations pray I could just pray it for Ukraine and Russia just pray for the sick and then then I would pray oh Lord Jesus I pray for those who are sick around the world I'll pray for them oh bring faith to their hearts oh cause the gospel to come to them that they might hear of what you've done send your angels manifest your power cause your children to come their way bring healing to you and I'm telling you this month from 18th to 20th is bringing you healing because he cares he cares and wants you well so right now Remember, it's part of our project of reaching 7 billion people around the world. It's our goal, it's our mandate. We'll do it.